So in this video, we'll be looking at installing and setting up Splade and also install the Breeze version of Splade and set everything up. And in the further videos, we'll be looking at setting up the database migrations and all the other stuff. So let's start by creating a new Laravel project. So in my desktop, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to name it Splade. And I'll be right back once this finishes installing. Okay, so the Laravel project has been installed and let me just cd into that project and let's also open that in my code editor and what else do we have? Okay, I also have a database defined called Splade. So let me just set that up and I also need to zoom in a bit so that you can see it properly. Okay, so the DB database is Splade and what else do we have? Okay, I'll also set this up uh, in my git repository and later you can check the code okay so i have also pushed the code in the github so that you can later uh, take references from here and the next step that i want to do here is to install split and set up the uh, breeze version of split as well so let's go ahead and install the package first so i'm going to do that in my terminal so composer require proton media laravel split and while that is installing I'll copy this command to install the split and we also need to run the npm server so that it builds the asset assets um, while we are developing and okay that has been done so let's go ahead and okay it's not this actually but artisan blade okay i think it's called split install so artisan split install install is gonna set the package for us so let me just so i'll be right back once this is done okay so before we run the npm run dev what i want to do is i also want to install the breeze so laravel uh, split breeze so we have actually multiple options here so by the time i am recording this video the test stream version is also available but i want to install the breeze because for simplicity and i am not doing any complex or anything uh, 2f related stuff or team related stuff so for that reason i'm going to install breeze so let me just copy this command and paste that in my terminal so this is okay this is also building the assets okay so the assets have been built let me just clear it up and also install the breeze blade package of breeze so while that is installing and so we also need to run the breeze install command okay so the package has been installed uh, let me also run the breeze install command and i'll be right back once this finishes installing okay so the breeze install command has executed successfully and let's also run the npm run dev command so that the assets are built once uh, whenever we change any files and what else do we have okay we have already set up the database so let's go ahead and migrate and okay this is zoomed out so let's run the php and soft command and i also need one more to run the migrations and all the other stuff so let's go ahead and run the migrations so that's done and our breeze package has also been installed successfully so let's go ahead and check that out so okay let's go ahead and try to register because we don't have a user right now so i'm going to create uh, an, an admin user with an email of admin and the password is going to be password and let's hit enter so okay this is the default uh, page uh, so this is actually the breeze page that you see so everything is all default with the official breeze version so this looks good and in the next part we'll be looking at setting up the migrations factories and cedars so we'll be defining a crud for, for students and each student belongs to a certain class and section so we'll be looking at setting up those relationships and all this stuff in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next one